Today we're in Joshua Tree National Park and we're taking the easy 1.1 mile loop trail to Barker Dam and some historic petroglyphs. Come join me. As one of the mildest trails in the park, this hike winds through boulder outcrops and offers a great look at the local plant life. Depending on seasonal rainfalls, this area can completely dry up, but it's still a unique reminder of Joshua Tree's diverse past. This area started off as a natural tank for rainwater and runoff, but it was expanded into a dam over a century ago by cattle ranchers needing more constant water for their livestock. It's a lot of fun to visit when the dam is filled with water and you can see that reflection, but it's also wonderful to come and see rock formations you can't reach when the water is high. Also, you can see the water level lines letting you know how much water can fill this area. Now, even though you can't go out on the dam, even when it's dry, you can come close and actually see the inscription of when Bighorn Dam was built in the 50s. There are plenty of informative signs along this gentle path for you to enjoy and learn more about the area. At the south end of this loop, the rock art site here showcases some fascinating Native American petroglyphs. While there are original petroglyphs here, this area was also used for filming in the 50s and 60s, including a film by Disney, and there are conflicting stories on who painted over these petroglyphs.
Thanks for joining me today along the Barker Dam Trail. For more information, see my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.